They make food even more fun and eating even more exciting. Watch this cookie. Wow, it's an elfkin. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 food mascots. Let's find out. One, two, three, three. For this list, we've looked at the invented mascots of supermarket products only. So, no restaurant characters and no spokespeople. Hello, may I come in? We've also ruled out cereal brands because both of those are lists for another day. Number 10, the Jolly Green Giant, Green Giant. From the Valley of the Jolly, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, Green Giant. Making his first television appearance in 1958, the Jolly Green Giant has been encouraging kids and grown-ups to eat their veggies for over half a century. Niblet's brand corn is the giant's own special kind. And since 1973, he's had help from Sprout, his young buddy. I'm going fishing today. If anything new happens, call me. Hey, Sprout! Already? Together, there aren't too many food cupboards they haven't commandeered, nor too many diets they haven't improved. The Jolly Green Giant was also the subject of a love song by the Kingsmen in 1964. And there's a 55-foot-high fiberglass statue of him in Minnesota. It's no wonder he's always smiling. Doesn't that giant ever take a day off? Green Giant. Number nine, the Coca-Cola Polar Bears, Coca-Cola. After debuting in print in 1922, these cold cuddlies really came to life in 1993 on television. <laughs> The original TV ad had the polar bears relaxing with a Coke and the Northern Lights. Now, over 20 years later, they're a holiday tradition and global stars. In 2013, award-winning director Ridley Scott even created a seven-minute short film about them. We rule this wonderland with dignity. Jack. Hey, Dad. Funny story, I was following the wrong family for the last hour. Everyone looks the same from behind. As a result of the bear's success, Coca-Cola now works closely with the World Wildlife Fund to ensure that polar bears lead good lives in the real world, as well as in the commercial breaks. Do you like nuts? Number eight, Mr. Peanut, Planters Peanuts. Planters, put out the good stuff. Designed in 1916 by a contest-winning schoolboy. Planters, fresh roasted daily since 1906. Right, little guy? Mr. Peanut brings a touch of class to your favorite barroom snack food. Just serve classy snacks and be a gracious host. No matter who shows up. His top hat and monocle have marched through advertising history for nearly a century. And there's no sign that he'll be hanging up his cane anytime soon. <laughs> I don't think so. In 2006, Planters Peanuts held an online vote to determine what other accessories the noble nut should have. But the public voted for no change. Sometimes you just can't beat the original. Did I just blow your mind? You're welcome. Number seven, Chester Cheetah, Cheetos. For the cheese that goes. Crunch. It's not easy being cheesy. It may not be easy being cheesy, but this guy makes advertising look effortless. It's the cheese and bacon taste that makes new Cheetos checkers so irresistible. Uh, they fall for me every time, yeah. Created in 1986, Chester succeeded the Cheetos mouse, who was cheesy but not in a good way. With his dark glasses and dangerous edge, the big cat was a big hit with snack food fans. His endless, often hilarious quest for Cheetos even earned him roles in video games as well as official doll merchandise. Looks like there's a new toy in town. He's a mass market mascot. For the cheese that goes. Crunch. Number six, the helping hand, Hamburger Helper. You need a hand. Hi, 
Who's that? That's the helping hand Mom gets with Hamburger Helper. Sure, because Hamburger Helper can help you make a delicious hearty skillet dinner in a snap. One of the more simplistic mascots, the helping hand is a symbol of the 70s and of stress-free cooking. With his smiling eyes and big red nose, it's impossible not to like this little guy. A light in the gloom of your kitchen cupboard, he's there to make cooking easy and inexpensive. You can help me save? Sure! And to make dinner taste good. Plus, he comes in a variety of flavors too. My chili macaroni's great, they'll all clean their plate, cause this cow hand makes chili mac the best. We'll choose to overlook the fact that he only has four fingers. Who needs five anyway, when you've got a whole helping hand? Hamburger helper, when you need a helping hand. Number five, the Nesquik Bunny, also known as Quickie Nesquik. It's so rich and thick and chocolate that you can't drink it slow. If it's quick, no Romeo. That's the saddest sound I know. This is one hair that would not lose to a tortoise. He wouldn't lose to a cheetah either, or anything that's fast. Symbolizing the speed that it takes to make a Nesquik drink, this bunny's an advertising superstar. A balance between athletic and adorable, he's recognizable the world over. He debuted as strawberry flavored and changed to chocolate in 1973. I'm gonna give you some hot, hot chocolatey chocolate. Nestle's Quick. Mm. Hot chocolatey quick, it's my favorite. I know. Since then, he's sprinted down supermarket aisles and into thousands of shopping baskets. You made somebody a wonderful mother. Oh, I know how to take care of a little bunny. Number four, the California Raisins, California Raisins. Number four, we head into the upper echelons of food mascotdom. The California raisins aren't just cardboard box characters, they're showbiz royalty. As part of a 1986 raisin commercial campaign, they covered Marvin Gaye's I Heard It Through the Grapevine. A media frenzy ensued, and the claymation crooners found their wrinkled faces plastered all over everything. T-shirts, lunch boxes, coffee mugs, and underwear. Dried up they may be, but lifeless they sure ain't. They even won an Emmy. Number three, the Kool-Aid Man, Kool-Aid. Hey, Kool-Aid! Oh yeah, Kool-Aid here. Bringing you fun, Kool-Aid's got their stun the run, get a big wide happy ear to hear Kool-Aid smile. The Kool-Aid man's had quite a history. Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid, a five cent package makes two quarts of Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid, nine great flavors they drink you love. His ancestor debuted in 1950s TV ads as a smiling, sweaty pitcher full of the sweet stuff. For the very best drink you ever made. Be sure that the envelope says Kool-Aid. By the time the 70s rolled around, he was a walking, talking, giant juice jug who'd break through everything to ensure your kids don't go thirsty. He's varied through the years between live action and computer animated. And in the 80s, he was also the hero of two video games and, for three issues, a Marvel comic book character. He's sweet, even with one third less sugar than soda. You can add water to the Kool-Aid man, but you can't dilute him. Oh yeah! Number two. Poppin' Fresh, also known as the Pillsbury Doughboy, the Pillsbury Company. Say hello, say hello to Poppin' Fresh Dough. It's such a nice, such a nice feeling to make something fresh. Designed to resemble the doughy product that he's advertised since 1965, the Doughboy has truly stood the test of time. Uh, here's a wrap that you should know, made with Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. Just wrap a wiener, filled with cheese. Pick it up, it's sure to please. The Doughboy Wrap. Humanized slightly beyond the mushy contents of a Pillsbury product, his chef's hat, button eyes, and chubby cheeks make him just about the cutest mascot ever. And his tee-hee giggle, well, that's just ultra adorable. 
Pillsbury's products are poppin' fresh, and that's just how you describe this little man. He'll never go out of date. <laughs> Before we dig into our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Now that's the best taste in pickle I ever heard. Classic pickles. Try them and you might say... Longer cookies just work better. Oh, yeah. Mmm, delicious. What we need here are some chips with no salt added. Thanks, Humpty. Hey, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sure. Good mood of you, Tennessee. Fruit juicy Hawaiian punch. Fruit juicy Hawaiian. Wasn't that a refreshing commercial? Number one. The M&M spokes candies, M&Ms. So chocolatey. I'm giving away <laughs> money to make people like me. Is what he said, and I was like, "You watch your mouth. She's my friend." Friend is a strong word. This motley mascot crew has been the faces of M&Ms since the mid '90s, and they're the candy kings of our countdown. Red, yellow, blue, Miss Green, orange, and Ms. Brown are all advertising all-stars and promotional perfection. So it's that kind of party. Hit it! I'm sexy and I know it. Hey. They're the spokes candies, and we've been hanging on their every word for two decades. Well, Dennis, what happened Insanely was... Insanely interesting, Red, but it's time to bring out our next guest. Their unique characteristics and crazy caper storylines make commercial breaks worth waiting for. What are you doing? What? You're eating M&Ms. Yeah, so are you. Well, I'm not an M&M. You don't eat your own kind, it's unnatural. They're all individuals, but they make a great team. And now, they're sugar-coated with success. M&M's. Can't resist them. Do you agree with our list? Which mascot is your favorite? Hey, you want a chip? Love to, but uh, those things go straight to my thighs. For more tasty top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Wow. Must have been something to hate.